What's up guys, this is going to be a super quick video on how to recharge the AC system on a Toyota Tacoma. This truck takes the new R1234YF refrigerant, so this is all new to me. Had to buy some adapters to get it to fit up. It's expensive stuff, it's like 60 bucks a can for this stuff, so hopefully we do it right. So if you don't, if you knew the channel, this is a wrecked truck. The condenser got busted, we had to change the condenser in a previous video. So now we're going to pull a vacuum and get it recharged and see if we can get some cold AC in it today. So stay tuned and see if we can get this done. All right, so to do this job, you're going to need some AC gauges. And the gauges, they don't fit on the port. These are for the older um, refrigerant. So I had to buy these new fittings to fit on the, the 1234 YF. They seem to be bigger. And then you're also going to need a vacuum pump. I bought all this from Vivo Home. I'll put links below and I'll put links to the little adapters I bought. And that's really all you need, that and the AC, the refrigerant. Let's get these swapped over and pull the vacuum. You got two ports on the AC system, the high and the low. So the red one's gonna go on the high. You wanna unscrew this all the way. It's like a needle valve that's gonna push through this little Schrader valve. So we're gonna pop this on, get it on tight. Then we screw this down. Now that pierces it. And then the low port, it's going to be the blue and that's going to be right here. Let's get this one popped on. And we're going to hook up our vacuum with the yellow line and that way it'll pull a vacuum on the high and low side. Gotta remember to pull this off, this little exhaust cap. And then our gauges are showing zero. So it should go to minus 30. All right, our gauges are all hooked up. We're on the high side, low side. The yellow is connected to the vacuum pump. So let's turn the pump on and we'll watch the gauges, see if it's gonna focus. <laughs> See, it's working its way down. So it's working. So we're gonna pull a vacuum about 45 minutes. We'll take the vacuum off and then let it sit and see if we have a leak. All right, the vacuum pump's been running over 45 minutes. Cut that off. And we'll watch our gauges to make sure they stay at a negative setting. So if you're ever wondering what kind of Freon yours takes, usually you have a sticker. This is one, two, three, four YF, and it tells you the amount 510 plus or minus 30. So when I went to the store, I bought these two cans. That's all they had was these two. And this is 226 grams, so it's not enough. That comes out to 452. But then when I went back, they had this can. This is 340 grams. So if I put these, this will be enough. I can bring this one back, get 50 bucks back on that. But here's the issue. 
So you have to get a can piercing adapter that goes to your yellow hose. The one for the 134 Freon don't work. This is left-handed thread, so now I have to go back and get one of these to fit these cans. So they make it to where you can't put the wrong Freon in. All this stuff is different. So I guess that's good. So let's run, go get this, and then we'll finish it up. All right, it's actually the next day I went to the auto parts store and I didn't have any of these, so I'd ordered on Amazon. And, and look who finally showed up to work. What are you working on? I'm plastic welding this clip onto here. These parts break off really easy during a wreck. So once I get this onto here, this light should be 100% done. And then the only thing that's damaged on this one is this little part, but we can easily get that from our busted one. And then once that's done, both lights should be done 100%. Trying to piece together these lights, our busted one over there. So we'll have to cut the clip off. We'll probably use JB Weld on this part since it's so flat and then put that on here and then screw it to it. But I'll um, start on this, get you to come help me in a second. All right. All right. Let's connect this. It's not the ideal time to be doing air conditioning work because I think it's about 55 degrees right now. So we might have to top it off again when it's hotter this summer. But we can get it working now. All right, we don't need our high side anymore. Get that blocked off. Now we need to block off the low side. Because we still have a vacuum. And I don't want to introduce air back into it when I disconnect this. So all of this is sealed off. What we'll do is connect this. Okay, I got the can tap on and it's important to purge this yellow line. You have a little purge valve. Or get that purged out. Now we can High side is closed. Now we're directed to the low side. And the truck's off right now, which is don't matter because the compressor wouldn't turn anyway. So we'll go ahead and put a little bit in. Then we'll go turn the truck on. You can see in the little window the Freon going through. And we're probably going to need about, the pressure will probably be around 20 pounds being that it's 50 degrees today. So is this new type of Freon better than the old one? No, it's actually less efficient than R134A. So why'd they switch? It's supposed to be better for the environment. When I was a kid, it was R12, and they found out R12 was harmful to the ozone. Then they went to R134A, but it didn't break down. It took 10 years to break down. And this stuff here is supposed to be very volatile and break down within several days. That's why it's important to purge this yellow line because you don't want oxygen going in. All right, you can go crank up the truck, put the AC on. All right. Compressor's finally running. You look down here. See the, the clutch? Every once in a while it'll engage. So we're starting to get enough. See, there it went. See it spinning? We're making progress. All 
right, so we put in 340 grams, and that means to get to 510, plus or minus 30, we need to add anywhere between 140 to 200. This weighs roughly 450. So we're gonna put in, when this scale gets to 254 to 314, we should be good. So I already purged this line out. Open this back up. And as the compressor cycles, it should pull it in. All right, we got our weight to 262. That's between, we wanted it between 254 and 314. That's good enough for now. Our pressure looks real good. Whenever the compressor kicks on, it brings us to like 25 PSI. I was guessing it would be around 20, being it's cooler. So I'll save the rest of this Freon, and when it's hotter this summer, we might have to top it off some. So you can go check your temperature inside, see how that is. Looks like it's around like 35 degrees. Is so that cold? It's really cold in here. Yeah, that's good. So I would call this a success. Now you have AC. Uh, we can finish up the whole front end now. So maybe this weekend we'll put the bumper on, grill. The truck will be 100%. So it's looking real good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We got the AC 100% complete. Love learning new things, and it was a big accomplishment for us. We we're a little bit nervous about the Freon we were using, but it turned out great, so there's no big deal. So make sure you follow us on Instagram at Swamp Boys Garage, and we'll see you next time.